Yes, sir. What's your name? James Caraballo. James, I hear that you did something very naughty. You got black flagged out there today. Isn't that true? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, Jimmy, what happened? Uh, I was riding level four, and uh, I saw the corner workers black flag me, so I came in to see what I did wrong. <laughs> and what was it, Jimmy? Was it good news or bad news? It was good news. I got uh, awarded the smoothest rider for level four. <laughs> Jimmy, awesome. Jimmy, um, um, do you think uh, riding smooth is important, Jimmy? And if so, why is that? Uh, riding smooth is important because it shows you got uh, control on the bike. If you go fast but you don't got control, you are really going nowhere. You got to have control and be smooth out there. That's true. Um, and also, Jimmy, what about consistency? You t talk about a lot of riders, they just try to go fast and they don't really l watch their braking marker or their corner entry speed and stuff. Do you think being consistent is important and if so, why? Yes, consistent is important just like being smooth. They go hand in hand. True. By you being smooth, you're able to hit your, your corner markers all, all the time. So both of them go hand in hand. That's really true. Jimmy, um, I know that in the past you used to ride pretty fast on public streets and highways. Well, we all did. Everybody's gone through a period of that. But Jimmy, what do you think now? We see a lot of the uh, 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 fatalities and really serious injuries of riders you know, out in public streets and highways, whether it's Houston, <coughs> a big thing in San Antonio, uh, uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth, it's an epidemic up there. Jimmy, what's going on? On, what do you think is going on in people's minds that they go so fast on public streets and highways? What you know? What uh, what what's on their mind or in their hearts or you know? It's, uh, well, I, I think it's a, a phase that everybody goes through. When you get a sport bike, you try to see how fast you can go because you don't you don't know no better. Then when you see people getting hurt on the street and and you, you start hearing about the track and they come over, then then they see it differently and they don't get the need to push on the street the way they can do at the track where it's safe. Yes. So you think it's more just a kind of just the, the just the, the love of just the speed, whether it's racing someone or uh, going? Yeah, I, I think it's um, a matter of uh, not having good judgment. Like I said, a lot of times people get bikes, they've never been on a bike. They see somebody that's got a little bit more speed and going fast and they let their ego take over and they just want to try to keep up and pass that guy. Yes. Not thinking about the consequences. What's your advice to someone like that, Jimmy? How, how can that be corrected? Uh, I still ride on the street. I mean, not like I used to, but when I see people that, that are riding a little bit crazy, I say, you ride pretty good. I think uh, you should take it to the track, and I give them one of the Ride Smart Flyers so they can come over and join us. That's, this is really the safe place to do it. Yes. And uh, Jimmy, um, you've got a, a, a website. It's called High Performance Crew. Yes, can, sir. There you go. That's the one. That's what we're looking at. And Jimmy, what's uh, talk to me about High Performance Crew. Uh, what's the objective there, and, and who's welcome there? Uh, all, all riders are welcome. Uh, we kind of brag ourselves of, of being a forum made for motorcycle riders, where we try to help other people, teach them about uh, bike maintenance, how to ride the street, how to ride the track, all, all around. Like if they got a question, they just go in there and they'll find anything they need. Yes, and. Uh, I forget, who, what was the guy's name, Jimmy, that kind of uh, organized all that and, and piloted that? What was his name? Do you remember? Uh, Brand Dillon. Oh, well, oh, it wasn't Jimmy, huh? <laughs> I mean, who was the person really, the, the heartbeat of, of really, that started this up? Uh, the forum? Yeah. Well, the forum was made be, between me and, and my good friend, Brand Dillon. Yeah. Uh, it's a cooperation between me and him. Uh, we also work for Ricemart. So we find it a way to give something back to the community. So we're like 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 the corner step between us and the track. Amen. And amen. That amen. And Jimmy, what do you uh, what do you see the future of the uh, your what's in your heart? What do you see as far as with HPC or high performance crew? <clears throat> what do you uh, in your heart? What 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 would make you let's say after you know one year being open five years or ten years what would what's in your heart what would you like to see happen well, with that I, I want i want hpc to be something big not only on texas but be like a nationwide forum 
Very good. The welcome is going to be like a big community. Yes. Before it used to be a high performance crew, uh, Texas, but now we change it. I mean Houston, but now we change it to Texas because we're trying to get all over Texas. Exactly. We go Texas, we're going all over. Right. Well, very good, Jimmy. Um, and. Uh, and your boy, what, what do you have to say? Jose's been riding really good. He got Smoothest Rider Contest winner here some time ago. And uh, what's your thoughts about your boy and his riding and, and his performance with, uh, with Ride Smart? Do you think Ride Smart's helped him? Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I've been racing a little bit, but I really don't have a future. But my son, he's been riding with Ride Smart. I mean, thanks to Ride Smart, he's where he is right now. If yeah. it wasn't for Ride Smart, you know, giving him the chance to ride, yeah. help out, and now he's instructing with them too, you know. He, Everything he's he doing is awesome. right now, you could say it's because of Rice Mart. Yeah. Well, also you, Jimmy. He's been riding all these, uh, I don't know, year and a half, and he's fallen down only once. When that's where somebody checked up in front of him. Yep. So he's been had a good. Uh, you've really given him good counsel there, and and um, and good instruction, and and just getting him pointed in the right direction. So yes, be real proud of that. I am. I am proud of him, and uh, hopefully in the future he'll be racing with the top well, guys. If we have anything to do about it, whether it's me or Dirk or Ty, you or Brant. He will. He's got a good team of support uh, uh, with him to keep him pointed in the right direction and give him support. Okay, well, Jimmy, uh, again, congratulations to you for winning that today here on, I guess it's uh, October 10th at Texas World Speedway. And uh, go see Blair Hart, and you're going to get a nice, pretty picture of yourself, uh, of your choice for, for today. And, again, congratulations, Jimmy, and, uh, you know, uh, w uh, good luck to you. I know you're doing, in fact, you're doing well, too, in, in, uh, in CMRA. You actually have got a, a couple wins, haven't you? Yes, sir, I got a couple of wins uh, last week. Uh, last last week we did uh, Oak Hill and I got first place in Formula 40. Uh, so it's been going pretty good. Very good. Okay, Jimmy, we look forward to seeing you in the future. I want to see you know the uh, uh, smoothest rider level four part two with you. Okay. Right, thank you. Okay.